by the time this video comes out, we'll be uh, in the midst of our move and packing and unpacking in a new location. Uh, but I wanted to make this video uh, for this month. And uh, I just want to drop this on you because this is really cool. Uh, so roll with me here for a second. I'm going to tell you like a quick story. So I, I won't get deep into my position on the UFO phenomena. <laughs> Uh, I will say that I feel like I take a very sane position on it. I know that the, uh, uh, the last thing that I want to do is relinquish all of my credibility. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm not necessarily in the camp that says, uh, that there, you know, <laughs> there are, uh, tridactyl reptilians, uh, in our skies or our seas or however it goes but the fascination with the phenomenon has been there since I was a child and will likely never go away um, I have personally seen enough things for me to be intrigued and that's fine it's an intriguing topic and I consider myself to be uh, rational, scientifically minded individual. I require proof. I have a high burden of proof. I require uh, the rigor of the scientific method. And those are my standards. But that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not completely intrigued with all of the news about UFOs. Um, so, Having said that, let me back up for a second and tell you a story uh, about a book. So I was going through a set of Robert Silverberg books uh, for a buyer. And these were out of my personal collection. And I came across one. I was, most of them were, you know, they're not significantly valuable or anything like that. But one was uh, a collection edited by Silverberg. Didn't even have a Silverberg in it. Uh, but it had this Gardner Dozois story in it. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, I get to this 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 particular book, uh, and you can see it's called Chains of the Sea, and uh, this particular edition, and it uh, was an exceptionally highly priced book according to the comps online. So I was pretty shocked, and I wrote him a little note and I said, "Hey, you know, this is the only outlier that was." strangely expensive and I said I kind of wanted to keep it anyway uh, so no pressure and he says yeah I don't really want it <laughs> didn't blame him at all it was a very expensive little book um, but I wonder why why is it why why and uh, so I just I put it back on the shelf and I didn't let it slip completely out of my mind but I figured I'm in the book world I'll discover why at some point um, and then I was deep, deep in the UFO subreddits and <laughs> just reading. I just like to read. I like to, I like to scroll and read just like we all do. And um, one of the uh, one of the comments was uh, related to the the 4chan whistleblower. I don't know if you're uh, um, familiar with this uh i i don't know if i'll put a link at the bottom or not i'm not a big fan of 4chan uh and i don't put a lot of credence in the things that are posted there but this was interesting and even if you read it uh with under the sort of umbrella that this is science fiction it's fun and i i tend to approach the topic with that mindset a lot of times and just assuming that Whatever it is that is coming out of somebody's mouth, uh, whatever their accusations are, whatever whatever uh, evidence that they claim to have uh, or experience, I pass it through the science fiction filter first. So um, anyway, I'm I'm reading about this the 4chan whistleblower and and uh, someone had mentioned in the comments uh, the story chains of the sea. But this is all very reminiscent of Chains of the Sea. And I, I am also of the opinion that fiction and our popular culture has an influence on our perception. And we could get into a deep philosophical conversation about that, but uh, I'm going to kind of leave it there for now. <laughs> Suffice to say, I do believe that, that 
fiction and stories and our pop culture have an influence on our perception. Um, whether that's the case with this story, I don't know. I don't think that a lot of people have read this story, but I read it. <laughs> It was in this edition, and it's the reason why this is so expensive. And it appears that Lou Elizondo even mentions it uh, in an interview at some point. So what I will tell you is that this story by Gardner Dozois is incredible. And it's a fairly quick read. It is um, about aliens who have come here to claim Earth from Earth's rightful owners. Turns out that the humans are not uh the primary sentient species on earth i'll kind of leave it at that but i want you to know that this exists i want you to go read this story and pass it through your your uh your little filter there so, <laughs> i think you'll enjoy it have a great time i'll see you soon